I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's time for this week's bonus, bonus word tip. Yep, I'm still busy. do 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 Yeah, I, I miss having daily fun with this. Anyway, Office 365 has suffered another update. Before I go into specifics, here's how to find version numbers in Word. Click the File tab and choose Account. Here's the version number, which on this system is 1709, and the build number, which is blah blah blah. As of the time I recorded this video, this is the latest version of Word. The first part of the number is 17, which relates to the internal release number for Microsoft Office. Office 2016 is version 17. Now these version numbers aren't sequential, so Office 2013 was version 15. So don't hurt yourself trying to justify the version numbers. The first thing I noticed with the most recent update is the removal of the auto save button. It's still available on the quick access toolbar menu, automatically save, but it's no longer shown. And I don't know why they changed this setting. The rest of these changes are specific to machines running Windows 10. I'm guessing that Microsoft is being sneaky here and offering newer features to people who make the Win 10 upgrade. I'm jumping to this conclusion because my Office 365 version of Word that I run on Windows 7 doesn't yet have these features. Now the first added feature appears in two parts. On the Home tab you see the Add-ins group. This item is available on older versions of Word but on the Developers tab. So you click the button to view, ta-da! It's the Microsoft Store, which you've already been assaulted with if you use Windows 10. Now you can add the apps listed here to help augment Word, and I might cover a few of them in future videos. Then again, I might not. Going with the add-ins is the add-ins tab. Here you see the add-ins that you've added, shown as groups. Now I don't remember getting the Pro Cliché Finder, but I did download the Merriam-Webster Dictionary add-in for one of my books. Anyway, these gizmos help expand the Word universe, or some such nonsense, and they're available as part of the latest Office 365 upgrade. Finally, on the Insert tab, you might find this new Command button in the Illustrations group, 3D Models. My guess is that this command is tied to the 3D graphics program included with the latest update to Windows 10. I've not tried it out, though I suppose if I ever yearn for 3D graphics in my documents, this is the button I will click. I'll post additional bonus bonus videos as Word continues to evolve. What I'm hearing from the rumor mill is that the next release of Word is for Office 2019. That means it will start appearing possibly next year in 2018. Again, these version numbers, they're crazy. Don't try to make sense of them.